Philip Vanela here. I am going to talk to you about my wonderful experience of being a judge at the Festival of Quilts, which is the UK's biggest quilt show. Now, I can remember back to before 2003 when the first Festival of Quilts was held at the NEC in Birmingham. And there was a lot of discussion within the Guild about the possibility of doing this show with, at the time, Twisted Threads and um, what was going to happen, what was anticipated, what their plans were. And we, as the members, were kept in touch with all the movements forward and it was really exciting. And I have been to nearly every show. I have missed one or two, but in the last soon to be kind of 20 years, it's getting that way. Um, it has grown into a really wonderful event and lots of you will have been, some of you might not have been, and I would thoroughly encourage you at some point to put that on your list. Um, but some years back, and I cannot remember when, I was invited to be a judge for the first time at the Festival of Quilts, and I have done that several times since and uh, it is an absolute kind of delight to me really uh, it's a real honor to be invited to go and judge the work but it has so many positive kind of aspects to it not least of which is the chance of the judges to see all of the quills close up and in detail without any crowds which is kind of worth anything really um, and, and why I want to talk to you is to kind of to demystify what the process is but also to encourage you to enter the show and get your quilts into the festival of quilts and not just the festival of quilts you know all shows really because without your quilts um, there isn't an exhibition to see really and it is really important I have exhibited my quilts in, in many, many, many shows in different countries. I've been extremely lucky to win lots of major prizes, which is um, perhaps another discussion another time. But it is incredibly rewarding to um, see your work hung there. Now, what I particularly enjoy about the Festival of Quilts, and it's different from some of the shows that I exhibit in, is that the work is not juried in. So in a lot of shows, what you need to do prior to the show and on a particular deadline is to submit images of your quilt to a jurying panel for the quilts to be juried into the show. And so you're already being judged at that point whether your quilt is um, good enough to go in or whether it's actually suitable and suits the style of show. You know, there are very arty um, quilt shows that don't suit traditional work and so on. But the Festival of Quilts is open to everybody. It is open to professional quilters, it's open to people who have made their first quilt, there are categories for new quilters, it's open to children, it's open to schools, it's this wonderful kind of all-encompassing invitation to come on let's celebrate what is happening in the quilting world and I what I particularly love about that is a, it should all be about kind of inclusivity, let's get everybody to the party but I think that the most humble quilt that arrives is enough to inspire somebody. And that, you know, somebody can see a very humble quilt and they've never made a quilt before and think, well, you know, I could actually do that. I could go away and make a quilt and get it into this show. And the, the range of work is, is fabulous. And, and humble quilts are there to be celebrated in exactly the same way as really high class work so that is what I particularly love about it now when we are invited to judge um, it is a very very carefully thought out process and the judging teams um, throughout the years of the show have worked very hard to make this as workable for not only the people who are exhibiting but also the people who are judging and many of them are volunteers and don't get paid for this and we should remember that fact because um, I think that you should if people are volunteering don't really have a right to complain about anything because 
because they're doing it for the um, pleasure of doing it and for all of our benefits. But we are given a lot of information as to um, what to expect if you haven't done it before. Um, and we are given guidelines of what to do. And I'm just, I'm just going to read out a couple of you. Um, this is the Festival of Quilts 2021 Judges Duties. And the first thing that it says is arrive in good time, dressed for comfort. So it's a long, hard day and you need to be wearing comfortable clothes on comfy shoes and it goes on to explain all kinds of things um, which I'm going to chat about um, so everything has been really carefully thought about and continues to evolve um, and then what we are given as judges is we are given a number of forms that we have to fill in for the entries in our categories now then the Festival of Quills, if you were to enter, you have to fill in the entry form and it has a range of different categories. It's available to download from the website and this is true of all quilt shows. And you um, have a look at that and you read it really, really carefully because even I have fallen foul of some of the rules and I will chat about that at some point. Um, but what, what we get often at the Festival of Quilts are quilts that are of the wrong size and are disqualified for that or quilts that have been entered into the incorrect category and don't um, kind of fit into that. So I would implore you to read the rules because people get very upset when their work is, is kind of um, either not judged because it didn't fulfil the rules, but generally it is not the error of the judges. <laughs> I'm not saying that just because I'm a judge. It is because the rules have not been read. So read everything really carefully. Now we can, as judges, we can enter the Festival of Quilt, but only in a category that we are not going to judge and so what the judging team ask is do you think you're going to enter a quilt and you may not know at the point because this starts months in advance and you say possibly and it may be in category blah blah blah, blah. and it's only towards the show dates that we are ab actually allocated the categories that we are as individual judges going to judge and the judges are very uh, sorry the judging team is very carefully looking at what your area of expertise is so I trained as a clothing designer, so I might be asked to judge Quilt Creations, which has a lot of 3D work and has a lot of garments in, and that is an area that I am very comfortable with. I might not be asked to judge something, and not particularly say the Festival of Quilts, but if there was a, a category of surface design with a lot of embellishing and printing and that kind of thing, that's not me, I'm about stitch. So I wouldn't be asked to judge that category because that's not my area of expertise. And there are usually two or three judges working together as a team to judge a particular category. So shortly before the show, we will be told what category we are going to judge. We will be told who we are going to judge with because we all kind of know each other. It's actually, that's another nice aspect to it is it's one of the few occasions where as quilting teachers, we go out to teach and it's just us and a group and we all get together and meet each other at the Festival of Quilts or, or similar occasions to do that. And we are also allocated quilt angels. And this has changed a little bit um, throughout the um, life of the show. But um, in the most recent years, we ha each judge has had their own personal angel who is um, making sure they get all the forms, who has the um, information that the entrants have sent in so that if you want any additional information, you will get the artist statement. Um, they're helping you with, um, they bring you glasses of water. They occasionally go off and say you're looking a bit tired you need a bit of cake <laughs> I'll go off and get you a bit of cake so they are absolutely invaluable and they do it totally uh, voluntarily and do a fantastic job so we know who we're judging with we know the category we're judging we know who our quilt angel is we arrive we arrive to have a um, kind of snack breakfast and and any last minute um, information is given to us we are welcomed and then we all go off and find our category 
And what we do initially is we walk around all of the quilts in our category because what we need to do is get an overview of the standard of work within the category. So you can't just go and start at the first quilt and judge it because you don't know how that compares to six quilts down the line and 12 quilts down the line and so on. So you're getting an overview of the actual category. Now, we work in teams, as I said, but we judge individually. So what we do is we take our form, we find the correct quilt, and we get we have very little time to do this, so we're working really fast. And one of the things that our, judge, uh, our quilt angel helps us do is make sure that the number of the quilt corresponds to the number that we've got on our form for that particular thing. And it sometimes goes wrong, and you do have to well, make sure that that is the right one. And so we've got an overview you we are individually looking at all the quilts now this is what I am looking for um, so I'm looking I'm going to tell you what I'm looking for and then I'm going to explain to you what we're actually marking uh, in terms of the sheet that we're filling in I am initially looking for impact so I want a quilt that is going to be dramatic and beautiful and draw me in and I am looking for my winners to be beautiful on every level so in terms of the design what the actual design is in terms of the balance of the design and how well it's it's kind of constructed in terms of its composition I want it to have a beautiful composition I want it to um work as a unified piece, not have dominant areas that pull your eyes or be unbalanced or have borders that are too narrow or too wide or all kinds of things. So I'm looking for impact. I'm looking for composition. I'm looking for use of color and how well that color has been used, how successful it is. You know, you don't want lots of really intricate piecing in lots of dark fabrics where it's all just blending together. You want lots of, of kind of contrast. You want the work to show up. I'm looking for really high quality workmanship. That is what I absolutely think is really important. So the workmanship must be really good on all levels. The quilting should be appropriate for the piece. Now I am a huge machine quilter. That does not mean to say I'm always looking for a, qu a, piece, a quilt that is quilted to death. I'm looking for a quilt that is evenly quilted, that the quilting is appropriate, that it's beautifully done and that it actually works as part of the design of the whole thing. I'm looking at the edges and how it's finished. So I'm looking for really neat straight edges. If it's a straight edge quilt, I'm looking for really good corners. I'm looking for all of those things. I'm looking at how it hangs. I think an award-winning quilt has to be beautiful on every level that I can think of. So some of them just speak to you and you just know. You just look at it and you think that is a fabulous piece of work and you just know. Now coming back to the actual form, so we have the quilt number and then at the top there's a little bit and it's got a dotted line here and this is for the judges and for the actual team that are collating all the marks and the actual person who has submitted the quilt doesn't get the top bit, they just get the comments on the bottom and what we have to do is we have to say an award, we have a choice of no, maybe, probably and definitely. This is not set in stone, this is just an aid to help us. What this does is, no has zero points, maybe has one, probably has two and definitely has three. Now what happens is when our forms have been completed, and I'm gonna come back to it, they go off into the office and there is a, the numbers are tallied up. And what happens is that all of the quilts that get high numbers, so possibly 10 quilts in a category, will be put to one size as these are the ones we are going to choose our winners from, okay? So it isn't if I write definitely, doesn't mean that quilt is going to absolutely get an award. It means that when all the judges in that particular team that are working on that category have decided and finished filling out all their forms, 
forms, we get our highest numbers and we discuss which are they going to be our winning quilts. I'm going to come back to that. Okay, so we have to look for visual impact and emotional response. I am just going to talk about that. I'm very much against quilts that pull on your heartstrings for kind of to get judges sympathy. I think that they, I think the work should have integrity to the maker in that sense. So, uh, uh, yeah, that, that doesn't work for me, uh, uh, really. I, I don't want to go too far into that because it's all a very positive process. But anyway, so visual impact and emotional response, excellent, good, satisfactory, needs attention, not applicable, because sometimes, you know, not everything is applicable. So then we have originality and content. Then we have design, composition and colour. Then we have choice and suitability of materials, and then we have surface design and embellishment. So we are choosing from whether we think that is excellent or whether we think that is not applicable. It might not appear, surface embellishment might not appear in, in that quilt. So that's more about the actual design, that section. Okay, and then we move on to construction. So the piecing, is it accurate and, and well done? Applique, is it well designed and well executed? Is the quilting design well done and well executed? And are the ed edges well done? Suitable finish hangs well. And so we're marking for all of that. Now, I know as a judge, in terms of whether I give you excellent, good, satisfactory needs attention or um, not applicable, I will be between the, I will most often be putting good and satisfactory. Excellent to me means excellent. And I'm tough on my kind of, um, on my marking in that sense but what I'm very generous on are my comments okay and we have a little area here for comments and I write comments on everything and sometimes I'll go on to the back and write a load of comments because I can see that this person has done so much and they've got such fantastic potential and if they just did this and this and this it would take them up to the next level and so uh, yeah I'm tough on my marking but I'm really, really positive and generous with my comments because the comments are the most important thing because you as a maker want to know why that quilt did well or why it perhaps didn't do that well. But I always, oh, and I'm going to sort of tell you my secrets here really, you know, we are given a list of words that we should consider using. I never use the list, right? But I want to make it a really positive thing because it's incredibly positive that you have put your work into the show. And what we want you to do, we want you to put more quilts in the show all the time. So we don't want to put anything on here that's going to upset you or make you feel like, oh, I'm not putting a quilt in a show again. So I will start with a really positive thing. If I have something that I feel needs a little bit of work, I will write that in the middle and then I will finish with a positive comment. So we go away on a high with that. And I always sign my name. We are asked to put our initials on it. I put my name because I stand up for what I say. You can come and ask me about that and I will chat to you about it because because I want you, I absolutely want you to empty your, empty your quilts. I want you to get the most out of it and I want you to get better. I want you to win those fabulous prizes because I know how that feels and there is nothing like it. So, and it, it's, it's interesting, and I always get people coming up to me and they say, oh, you marked a quilt of mine, yeah, you, you were quite tough on there, but you gave me really nice comments and I know I do that, I know I do that. Okay, but I, I, I want it to be... I want you to be honest. I want to say what I want to say. I mean, occasionally I will just get a, a quilt that is hard for me to know what I say. And I will kind of say to my angel, I say, I'm not quite sure what to say about this one. But then I'll say, no, no, actually, they've done a really good job with that. They've used beautiful fabrics. They've put them together really well. They've tried really hard on their binding. And I'll put all of those good things. And that person is going to get better. They're, we only get better the more we do and the more practised um, we become. So just to chat to you about the final little bit of the judging process, here are a few past winners from the Festival of Quilts.
So the individual judges have gone round on their own and they have looked at all the quilts and they've filled in their sheets and they have chosen the ones that they think are very good contenders. And then when everybody has done that, the three, the two, however many judges there are that are judging that particular category, we get together and we discuss our contenders as it were and we go and we look at them again as a group and we choose from those quilts. So it doesn't necessarily mean that the quilt that scored the highest number of points on the written form is necessarily the winner. We are then coming up with our choice by discussion. It is a group discussion. And I have to say to you, in the many years that I've done this, I've never kind of disagreed or had any group that I've been out of step with. We've always had, yeah, these are our top three. How are we going to position them? And then what, if there is, are going to be the highly commended? Which quilts are going to be the highly commended? And quite often, you know, we'll have three quilts and they'll be really beautiful. And I won't mind too much which is first, which is second, which is third, as long as we we get a kind of consensus and we're all happy with the actual outcome and that final meeting and discussion with the other judges is really helpful because everybody brings their point of view and you just look at the thing slightly differently again and I like to think that on the whole we make a really good decision and that the person or the people that have done all that wonderful work are justly rewarded and also that all the viewers enjoy looking looking at the quilts and enjoy seeing what we as the judges have chosen. So that's how the process works. If you've never entered a quilt into a quilt show, I thoroughly recommend it. I thoroughly recommend it. It is the biggest delight to, to be accepted and have you work hanging for people to see. And the viewers just love to see all of the work. I'm just going to finish with a little um, story. Um, Back in uh, May 2019, I actually um, reduced the amount of, of travelling teaching I was doing and, and with a business partner set up online um, classes and we, um, we had a lady who had never quilted before ever um, and she took our first year of classes and she entered her very first uh, festival of quilts um, and she got second place in the category and won a considerable amount of money and she was so delighted that she had done that and we at Quilters Question Time were so delighted for her because she had come from nothing and had worked really hard and just learned so much and had entered this quilt and had done far more than she possibly expected she could do. And she took her husband to the show. She said, I want to go to this quilt show. This is this last year at the Festival of Quilts. I want to go to the quilt show. She took her husband. He did not know she had a quilt in the show. He did not know that she'd won a prize. And we had a booth and they came to find us. And his little face, it was so proud. It was, it makes me sort of cry to think about it now, really. You know, that's what you can do when you get a quilt into a show. So read the rules follow the rules, get that quilt in the show. And if I mark your quilt, I'll be tough here, but I'll be really generous with my comments. So go to it. We'd love to welcome you as a member of the Guild. Visit our website for more details at quiltersguild.org.uk. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram and YouTube.